it was my sophomore year, right? I think my sophomore year was just about to start. Like it was just about to start or it just started somewhere in there. I don't know. But it, but I know I was a sophomore, right? And the dude down the street, like eight houses down the street, like I could see his house from my house, like his parents and my parents have lived next to each other forever. Okay. His parents were out of town. My parents knew this. All the seniors knew this. And they were using his house as the party house. My parents also knew this because I told them. Why? I told my mother, hey, I'm going to this party. I'm not drinking. The only reason I'm able to go to this party is because I know the dude who's getting used by all the seniors. It's like, duh. You know, does this sound like every high school movie ever? It's like, hello. Yeah. So this dude named Eric shows up at my house. He parks like five houses down because the street was lined with cars because everyone was at the party. I'm like, yo, we're going to the party, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to drink, blah, blah, blah. See you later. Go to the party. I'm chilling at the party. All of a sudden, I hear a ruckus. I hear a hysterical lady who sounds just like my mom screaming something like, where's my son? Now, I'm in shock, right? I'm frozen in terror because I know that's my mom's voice, but I told her exactly what I was doing. So why would my mom come barging into the party that she knows I told her we were going and we weren't drinking because we weren't? Why is she yelling like, where's my son? You can't keep... Like, ridiculous shit. Like, holy shit. No. How is this happening to me? Like, really? Really? Like, ridiculous. Like, you can't keep my son here. I'm co-. Like, she thinks she's coming to save me. Like, she's Superman. Like, you know those moments when parents are like, I'll give my life for you. Like, she thinks this is that moment. And I'm like, you only know I'm here because... I told you because my mom was one of those people who were like, tell me the truth. You'll never get in trouble. I was like, okay, cool. And I believed her fucking stupid. So I'm in shock. Next thing I know, the lady's just coming down. She's coming through the party. She's waving her fingers in people's faces. Like talking cult shit. Like, you shouldn't be doing something and I'll tell your mother, like the, everybody, not just like three people. She's not just coming through looking for me. Like, okay, you're going to grab me by my scruff and pull me out. Okay. That's super embarrassing, but I mean, okay, whatever. That's recoverable. No, 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 no. So I see that it's my mom. I make confirmation. And I'm like, oh my God. And I run and hide in the fucking closet, right? <laughs> I'm in the closet going, oh, my God, what in the hell did I ever do to deserve this? Like, what did I do? Because she's going to everybody. For 20 minutes, I heard my mom shaking her fist in people's faces, just telling her and telling her she's my mom. Like, where's my son? Tells my name. Where is my, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. For 20 minutes. Right. So then she finally leaves, and Chuck, my dumbass piece of shit stepdad, is right there with her. It's like, wow. Oh, and he was he was right there at the kitchen table when I was like, hey, listen, this is what's going down. We, we, we. Oh, oh, wow, you guys are great fucking parents. How's your other kids doing, Chuck? Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, you got your own fucking fires to put out. But no, no, you're fucking with my life. So can you imagine, like, take all those bullshit movies, fuck that. Like, level 10, like, we're talking the whole, like, think about the type of dudes that are going to be at this party at a sophomore person's house. They know his parents are gone for the week, right? So they're not going to be there the next week. Like, think about those people. Those are all these people there. So everybody's there. And then it gets broken up and everyone leaves. It's like, holy shit. Like, for real, dudes, like, for weeks after this, dudes were threatening to kick my ass. Can you? 
They're like, your mom better not tell. We're going to kick your ass. It's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're going to kick my ass. And I would tell my mom, you better not fucking tell. And she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. she was going to fucking tell. It's like, holy shit. Like, I guess thanks. Thanks for not telling their parents, you fucking crazy old broad. It's like, holy shit. Like, oh, my God. So for weeks. It's like, good news is it only lasted the entire year. I guess eventually they, you know, eventually those dudes graduated. But I guess, see, here's the silver lining on this one, too, because this is what forced me to go. Because when I said I was got chicks, like, up and down, the main thing, yeah, 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 because I didn't get any chicks in my school. Keep that in mind, too. Like, oh, no, 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 no. There were no chicks. Like, I got my junior year. What was I, senior? When I dated that one chick. Yeah, yeah, I only dated, like, one chick. I would go to dance. Like, when I went to all the dances and shit, but no, 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 no. There were, there were like... No, 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 no. I mean, of course, chicks are going to, I'm not an ugly old troll, right? So chicks are going to fuck. If you ask a chick to a dance, they want to go to a dance, but it's not like, no, no, no. It's just like, I mean, no, no, no. Just that one chick and then the other chick who changed her name, right? If you follow the show. It's like, that was it. That was it. Two? It's like, how many chicks are out of my school? 500 and I only got two? It's like, holy shit. No, no, no. That's why I had to go get chicks from other schools because I was a fucking loser and that's why because my mother shook her finger at every kid who would like be like cool in the fucking school and threatened to tell their mother because they were at a fucking party not even everyone was drinking most people were just at the party like I'm just going to the party because that's what we're doing we're just going to the party it's like 12 people were drinking because I drew up in a place where nobody drank so it's like 12 people are fucking drinking you crazy old lady it's like can you imagine so thanks for that, Grandma Guru. It's like, yeah, oh, nightmare. I mean, that was, I think that was a Saturday or a Friday. Think about it, it's like, oh, my God, in 48 hours, I got to go. That's what I was thinking in the closet. In 48 hours, I got to go back to see these motherfuckers. It's like, God damn, no wonder you were a nerd in high school, Grandma Guru, and no one liked you. You're a fucking loser in high school. That's a fucking fact. You were a fucking loser. That's why you got knocked up by some piece of shit. And you didn't just have sex once, you idiot. You had sex way more than once. Nobody gets pregnant on the first try. I should say something about my cousin right now, but ah, I can't. About intestinal fortitude, can't. Because I'm trying to make my, my podcast positive, right? So can I tell you about the time I murdered a room? Wink, wink. 